guys. Hey guys. So if you didn't know recently, it was my 15th birthday and to celebrate, I'm going to be showing you guys all of the cool little trinkets that I got for my birthday. So let's get into it. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is this power adapter that is in the shape of the original Macintosh. You can see you got the screen on the front, the floppy disk slot, a uh, fake Apple logo. I guess they couldn't use the real one. There is a side and the back. You can see there's all the fake switches and of course the actual outlet. And on the top is where you find your charging ports. You can see there's three USB-C ports, so no USB-A to be found here. It's all high-tech USB-C. And when you actually plug this in, to an actual power outlet, the screen actually does light up. It makes some like green waterfall type looking things on the screen. And when you actually plug something into one of these USB-C ports and charge one of your devices, it shows like a number on the screen. I don't know what it is, but I'm assuming it's the amount of watts it's using because uh, you can plug like three USB-C ports into this thing. And it is a 67 watt power adapter. So this thing actually is pretty powerful despite being pretty small. Cause like, there's my hand, there's the thing. It's pretty tiny. Next thing I'm going to show you is uh, the shirt I'm actually wearing. I got this cool shirt. You can see here that uh, we have some people boarding this CLRV streetcar operating on the 504 King route heading to Dundas West Station via King Street. So that's always pretty cool. But you know, funny enough, I never actually got to ride on the CLRV streetcar. So that kind of sucks, but it's whatever though. It's still a cool looking shirt. Next thing I got is something I have wanted for a very long time, and it is a GoPro. What GoPro did I get? This is the GoPro Hero 12 Black. And uh, here, let's uh, turn it on. There's the camera, as you can see. So it's pretty cool. You got your front display here. You can see everything that's going on on the camera. It is a touchscreen, by the way, which is very nice. You know, video quality, whatever, you know. You can actually select the lenses, too. There is a variety of digital lenses, which is nice. On the front, you can see that there's the camera, which it looks pretty good. It's a very high-quality camera. Choose 4K. And uh, here's a short clip uh, I recorded with the GoPro of me riding on my bike because uh, what's cool is that if you look at the bottom here, the hole in the center is actually a screw that fits onto most tripods. I screwed this onto my tripod that has like the legs you can wrap around stuff with. I wrapped it onto my bike and I recorded my bike ride with it. So uh, this can also, I guess, act as a uh, kind of like a dash cam for a car. So that's pretty cool, but it's cool that I can record my bike rides and stuff. And as you can see, the quality is really good. It's like 4K. I shot it in 4K 30. I'd say the quality looked pretty good. And you can see on the front that there is a display on the front too. So if you're like pointing the GoPro to your face, talking to yourself, you can see a preview of what the video looks like, which is very nice. And you can see that these legs actually fold out on the GoPro too, where you can attach like other mounts and stuff to that. The speakers are under there too. And of course, there's the power button on the side, which turns the GoPro on and off and switches the camera mode. And on the top here is the shutter button, which actually starts recording, stops recording, takes a photo, stuff like that. And then of course you pull down on this tab, the firm tug, you can see in there, there's the battery and the USB-C charging port. So go, go GoPro for the futuristic charging instead of just using something like micro USB, that would have sucked. So yeah, that is the GoPro Hero 12 Black. So far, out of my few days of using the GoPro, I think it was pretty cool. Because I've always wanted a GoPro, because I've always thought it would be cool to have like a portable camera that wasn't my iPhone that I could just carry anywhere, because GoPros are also waterproof. You can bring this underwater, get some cool underwater shots. So now that I have a GoPro, that is super awesome. And the next thing I'm going to be showing you guys is this little guy right here. This is the GMK Tech Nutbox G5. And yes, that is the actual name. So what is this thing, right? Well, despite it looking extremely small, this is a fully featured Windows 11 desktop PC. I know, isn't that crazy, right? I mean, look at how small it is. I mean, look, this is my hand carrying it. Look at how tiny it is. How is this a full desktop? I have no idea. And if you open up the settings menu, I mean, you know, here's the specs in case you want to see them. You know, the processor, it's got an Intel, N97, 2 gigahertz. It's got 12 gigs of RAM. That's eh, pretty good, not too bad. So I haven't really been using this too much since I just got it, but like so far I tested it with Roblox. It does decently well with gaming and stuff, so it's not too bad. I mean, you know, if we load up Edge, maybe we'll go uh, pay YouTube a visit, right? You can see it's 
decently fast, not too bad. By the way, I'm not signed in, so I don't watch any of these videos. I know that's just the guest page. Let's say we search up some Jack of Everything. You can see that it's decently fast, like it, it chokes pretty good. Because there is a fan side of this thing. It's not like the Apple Silicon MacBooks. It's not like the Apple Silicon MacBooks where it's just dead silent. There is still a fan, but it's not too loud. It's not too bad. You can see that it's pretty fast. But I'm just amazed that, like, it's so tiny, and yet it's a full Windows 11 desktop PC. I mean, that's crazy. I mean, in terms of the hardware, you know, on the front, there's the power button. Two USB 3.0 ports, which is nice. There is a micro SD card slot on the side in case you want to add more storage to it, which is obviously nice. And in terms of the hardware on the back, we have uh, two HDMI connectors, which is nice. Uh, we have another USB 3.0 port, a headphone jack, Ethernet port in case you want better Wi-Fi connection, and a USB-C port to actually power the computer. And once again, it is insane that these guys packed in an entire Windows 11 desktop PC inside this little cube. To me, that is pretty crazy. And the last thing I will be showing you guys is my new iPad. Because just for some context, in case you guys didn't know, this was my current iPad. This is the fifth generation iPad that Apple released back in 2017. And I got this for my seventh birthday, if you do the math. As of my birthday, I have officially been using this iPad for eight years. I would say that's a pretty good run. You know, it was also kind of emotional being like, oh man, it's crazy, we gotta upgrade this. Because even though I love the design of the fifth gen iPad, I love the rounded corners, it's so comfortable, it's so lightweight. As you can see, I am using the smart cover, so, you know, Apple's kickstand design is just genius. You know, keyboard typing position as well. I mean, it's beautiful. I love the design, as I've said once again. And, you know, oh, the home button placement is just, oh, it's just beautiful. But unfortunately, it has been getting slow. Literally, all I do on my iPad is pretty much watch YouTube, and it's getting pretty slow even at that. So I was like, you know what? It doesn't even run the latest iPad OS anymore. It's time for an upgrade. So what did I get? I decided to upgrade to the... 10th gen iPad. So as you can see, you got the all screen design, touch ID sensor on the side this time. That's pretty unique, obviously, right? Uh, as you can see, I did get the smart folio with it. And as you can see from the colors, I did get the blue colored iPad with the watermelon styled case. You know, you got the red on blue. Pretty nice, right? As you can see, I'm pretty happy with the color combination. I think I chose a pretty good one. I was almost going to get the pink iPad with the watermelon case, but it seemed like mom and dad were both not a fan of the pink color. So I was like, okay, well, the blue color is nice too. What about that one? They were fans of those too. And now I'm an ultimate fan because, you know, pink on the watermelon case would have looked a little too pink, red, whatever you want to call it. So I am pretty happy with this color combination. But what I really love about this iPad is how freaking fast it is. So again, Pretty much what I do is I just watch YouTube on my iPad. You click on a video and it instantly loads. Like you put your iPad in split screen view where you have two apps on this thing, it instantly does it. I mean, this thing is freaking fast. I mean, the 10th gen iPad is equipped with the, of course, the A14 Bionic chip, which is the same processor used in the iPhone 12 mini, which is the thing recording this video and my main phone. So it's got the same power and this thing is freaking fast. So honestly, this is a pretty sweet upgrade. And that was all of the things I got for my birthday. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in another video. Bye!